Apple had a surprise press conference on Halloween Eve and they revealed some amazing new products. Here's everything you need to know about the future of Apple. Let's talk about it. As you guys know, I made a short last weekend predicting some of the future Apple products, and I got a lot of things wrong. As of recording this, the keynote was last night, and I think there's four major surprises, and there's four key takeaways from those surprises. Okay, first surprise. Instead of revealing the brand new M3 chip like I expected, they revealed the M3, M3 Pro, and M3 Max. Exciting, we were expecting one chip, but we got three. The most exciting part is that the chips are three nanometer, which makes them much faster. Apple is calling it their largest breakthrough in Apple history. They do this thing where they compare the new chips to chips that are two years old, and they also use inconsistent units of measurement. But I did some digging, and I'm gonna tell you exactly what the performance gains are from last year. The M3 has about 20% faster CPU and GPU performance to last year's M2. The M3 Pro has 10% GPU gain over the M2 Pro, and a 5% gain in CPU. Okay, that's not really that much. The M3 Max, however, has a 20% faster GPU and a 50% faster CPU than the M2 Max. The biggest takeaway here is that the M2 Pro is kind of a budget king, but the M3 Max, yes, it is the biggest Apple improvement in silicon ever. They also unveiled a new program called Dynamic Caching, which makes the chip run much faster. That's how you know their performance gains were so bad that they had to use software to make it better. As always, they compared the performance in an unspecified graph. What does relative performance mean? As I noted, they're comparing it to the two-year-old chip. They also show the core counts on these new chips, and it's insane. No wonder the performance is insane. Look at that max. Dang! One more thing before we move on to devices. They spend a lot of time highlighting features as if they're new that aren't new. It kind of makes the devices seem much better than they are. Don't get me wrong, these chips are insane, but it's just a little shady. Okay, second surprise. The 14-inch MacBook Pro is getting all three chips and it's now starting for 400 bucks less than last year at $15.99. The 16 inch gets the Pro and Max chips and starts at the same price as last year, $24.99. They also have a 20% brighter screen and a new color, Space Black. Key takeaway here, the MacBook Pros are much faster than last year and in some cases much cheaper thanks to the new M3 chips. All right, third surprise. The iMac is getting M3 and starts at $12.99. I predicted that it'd get M2, but it totally skipped a generation and it got the newest chips. It keeps the same design, but with a much faster machine on the inside. Key takeaway, this is the king budget machine now. If you don't need to move with your creative computer, then this is the computer for you. The M2 was already way more powerful than most people needed, and this is 20% faster than that. Okay, unfortunately, the final surprise was not Tim saying good evening. Good evening. Although that was kind of surprising. No, actually it was the small text at the bottom at the end of the keynote. My jaw literally went through the floor when I read, this keynote was filmed on iPhone. All this, filmed on iPhone. That's outstanding. I said in my Pixel video that the Pixel 8 could be a camera on a movie set, and I guess the iPhone could be too. I wasn't giving it enough credit. It makes sense though, because of the log profiles and the 16-bit color, you can really do anything with that footage in post. The iPhone is an outstanding machine. Key takeaway, the iPhone is an incredibly capable machine but don't buy one for your next film just because. They have a team of advanced editors making it look this good in post. Because of the log profile, you're able to make the image look as good as you want to after the fact. If you don't know what you're doing, it's not gonna look this good. All right, that's all I got. Party on, dudes.